It is the league-leading New England Free Jacks in the dark jerseys kicking off, and this time they go long and return with some interest back into their own half. Just six meters out now, the Free Jacks. There's an the extra roll there, they're going to come back, no advantage, offside. They come all the way back for that offside midfield. They're going to take the points off the start, so really not an indication to us, but should be an early three points for the Free Jacks. Up go the flags, off the mark. New England Free Jacks threatening, they weren't held up so they can go again. The ball's presenting, you can see it at the back. The arrow's looking to get low and chop. They do. The cheers come in. Referee's given the try on the spot. And it was Mills Sanaribi. You recognize him. He has a serious career playing for Scotland. Six Nations rugby, but also seven aside rugby. And that's going to be a penalty for hands in the ruck against the arrows. Here's the man from Ballinori County, Court. John Poland. He's got it. Just enough distance. A nice strike from him. Fourth season with the arrows. Let's see if he can hit his target. They move forward and they do hit Kyle Bailey. They go to the front. There's no resistance initially. Then it goes down. Referee says it went down legally. Standing off is Foley. This has been a feature of the Arabs game when they're playing well. Confidence in their forwards to pound away at the line. Cole Keith with help. Just two meters short. Quick pick. Tackle roll! Tackle complete. He's got to get out of there. He's doing his best to get out of there. Stay there. No, no, on. Everyone trying to referee the game. A couple of free jacks off their feet beyond the ball. Let it go, Kyle. Let it go. Well Let it go. presented there. Rumble's got his hands on it. Foley's outside him. Oh, these are the battles. Brody hits Keith, who's a little bit flat footed and upright, but he's got it down. A little bit slow, this ball production. They miss out Quadrant and hit to Toy midfield. He's looking to the line, but he's brought back. An outstanding tackle from the free jacks midfield. Through for the moment, it is Andrew Quadrant. He has a nose for the line, this lad. And credit his footwork here. He just dances around the Free Jack defenders and gets in under the posts. This is probably a bigger try. Arrows were desperate for that. Not the start we wanted, but does that help? 13 caps for Canada, I'm sure. Canadian head coach Kinsey Jones will be looking on. Still playing new advantage, Red. Yeah, you heard it. Do you want it? Yep. So there's the conversation you often see in rugby. Got a wrap. No wrapped arms in that tackle. You must try and grab the play. What do they do? There's the arm. He's trying to reach up and grab the leg, and the player's gone over the top. I agree with you. That's a very harsh call. He tried so to wrap. If we see the replay again, he tried to wrap. Low, lower limbs. So there is, it's a tucked arm. It's a yellow card. Well, you can see the arm come around. And a little bit more width on the Canadian attack here. Gaston Mirez beats two tackles, the 32-year-old. Yeah, number one and number six, right? We got advantage being played, so... Mirez can try it. Maybe look for a quick tap here. And a wise decision by the captaincy, Mike Shepard, just saying, hey, it takes a minute to kick. That's another, this is all running time against the Simba. And the points are good. So just one point to difference here. Toronto, 10 points through the boot. Sam Malcolm. Let it go now, Rick. Counter rock from Free Jacks has got on the ball. Referee's called another penalty. We've had a ton of penalties in this game. The possibility of a yellow card for repeated infringement against these men in red. The Free Jacks. Malcolm for the lead. Right foot. Sweet strike. The crowd will tell you. In a must-win game, the Toronto Arrows have taken the lead here. 13 points to 11. His word and his actions. The knee goes down for a moment, but the scrums won. And they're on the move. The arms out. Advantage. Great decision there to keep that ball in the scrum by Foley. He sensed they were on the move, and he's effectively won the penalty by not releasing the ball. 
Hopefully you haven't provided the commentator's curse saying he hasn't missed yet, but the man with the arrow number of number 10, that's his lifetime number, has the 10 jersey on now. He's swinging the right boot. He swung it sweetly, and the lead is extended. Three more points for the arrows. Isaac Salmon just taken out off the ball. Quick hands, Bailey in space, he does well to keep it in field. Advantage Step still back, on for the arrows. Back. Brody sees some space up the blind. He's gone for the moment, but he flips it back in. We're gonna come back. Sorry, two, uh, two New England, yes, correct. Okay, number two. So well, I'm gonna you go got a like great insight first. there as to the correct. fine lines these referees are trying to adjudicate. And Brian, I do think they've got it right here. He's gonna get a yellow card because there was contact with the head. Okay. The referee so was favoring contact with just a penalty. Arrows throw in, let's see what they can do. Inside the free jacks 22, they miss the target. They got a hand to it, Detroit gets it. He's untouched, it's gonna be a try if there's no knock on. I think the referee's gonna have a question. Chris, I'm coming up to you, mate, because I'm on side of his bodies. Yeah. I need to just check what happened there, mate. Otherwise, the on-field decision is try. Shepard's left hand we're looking at here. Side, Chris. You get, oh, it's off red. So that's not a knock on. The on-field decision is trying. What happened is Mike Shepard knocked it back as it was bouncing, and they yes, want to see if it went forward off Shepard's hand. But it's off a red arm. He's trying to pull it back, and the arm comes in before he can just do that. Just checking there's no hand in there, there? Josh, before. Otherwise, it, so it's, it's a bit of a mute question. Because it, it's not clear. Okay. It's definitely come back off a, off a red hand. Yeah, even our referee I am not seeing a clear touch from Toronto number five. Okay, so I'm going to stick with on field decision. Field decision. Yeah, yeah. Listen to this crowd. They'll let you know what they think. The down backs are trying one. to join, down and now one. it's gone down. The ruck no, is formed. No, for A17. Brody's looking to the short side. He goes wide. Flirting with the sideline. Time off. We're going to have time off and a bit of a discussion here. Time off. You've got a clear ground. Okay. So, Chris, we're going to come up to you, mate. On-field decision is try. Can we just double-check, please? Tough to say from here. Chris, we're going to, I don't uh, know if he thinks well. he's there or not. Please? Uh, I think if he is, he's a pretty good salesman at Montevideo. Okay, so the magic up the sideline, Brian. What do you think? So tough to tell. With that... <sighs> is that right boot dragged over the white line before he gets the ball down? Luke, there appears to be no separation. Stick with your on-field decision. Okay, so no clear separation. There's no foot in touch. We're going to stick with the on-field decision. Of try. Thanks, mate. Wait for this chair, everyone. <laughs> We're on it in the lineout. Of course, the Free Jacks back to full strength. Larson chest passes it out. No, Flirting with the tail of the lineout. The ball's gone backwards. Quick pick from the sub. They're all over him. Tackle roll! Tackle! Tackle complete. Quick pick from the line. It's Johnson battling away. He's brought down early. Again, the arrows just firing in like missiles at this stage. Seem to be over the line. Yes, it is. New England Free Jacks with their first points of the second half. And it's going to be the substitute, Chris Newcomer, off the bench, aptly named and aptly timed, a big try for the Free Jack. And will there be another try to add to the three tally count? And a bonus point, Hood right in behind the scrum. I fancy him with a one-on-one -on -one battle. There goes the scrum. It's up. The arm is out. Two on one. Hood is wide. He dies for the corner. Gets it down, and the referee's going to have a look. The arrows think they've got it. They're going to come up to you as well, Chris, for the second. So much riding on this call. It's the fourth try. It's the bonus point. Are you happy with touch? Just double check for me, please. You heard it on the field. They're both happy with touch and that grounding from Matty Hood. On field decision try. Yeah, just want to double check. The on field decision is try. Thanks, is there any reason? Coming from our television match official, why I can't be rewarded. Free Jack's gonna try and get one last five pointer. They offload and spill it. And the arrows will let you know what happened. It's a knock on. It's a victory. The Toronto Arrows are alive and kicking in 2022 in Major League Rugby.